always great to state to start the day off right. <laughs> I say, and then a skeleton jumps down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Get stuck in the obsidian, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. I have been playing so much since the last episode. Uh, I've been doing some stuff in the base that we're going to take a look at. I've been continuing the theme, but mostly I've been out mining. Uh, I'm very broke, and I would really like to eventually get to a beacon. It feels so far away. Like this is over a mining, over an hour of mining session. The the reduced ore that we have this season is truly like <laughs> kicking in when it comes to the quantity mining you need to do of like iron and stuff. Even more incentive to build an iron farm, eh? But uh, it's been going pretty good. I did find some more diamonds. Woo! What's happening? Oh no! It's chaos. Can't even. What? Okay. What happened there? <laughs> Um, it's been going pretty good, at least I haven't died, jinxing it a little bit there, but, um, yeah, I really enjoy mining in Minecraft, I've always enjoyed mining in Minecraft, it's not something we do often on the channel, because, uh, as far as, like, viewing it on YouTube, I don't think it's that fun, <laughs> but, uh, we do it a little bit when I stream and stuff, so that's cool, which, by the way, Quick sell up moment of doom. If you haven't followed my Twitch channel, make sure you do so you don't miss anything. Oh, buddy! <laughs> so, the original plan for today, ladies and gentlemen, was to go to the end and do some end busting together with Mumbo. This morning we got together, we were ready, we thought that we were like, alright, well, let's do this. Uh, but we realized that we have to kill the dragon <laughs> twice. And <laughs> we realized that we also have to spawn the dragon twice. None of us has any gas here, so yeah. In addition to that, like, I'm just in iron gear here, feeling pretty vulnerable in general. You know what the problem with kelp is? If you're in an area and you keep it loaded, like you will if it's around your base, it's just gonna take over everything eventually. It would have been so much better if they made it like chorus fruits, where like it grows to a random height and then stops. I think that would be way cooler. Anyway, the good news is I survived uh, the way home. Wow, that looks really bad. <laughs> I really need to get to fix that mountain. Uh, I survived the way home, or the journey home. And that's, uh, that's a really good thing. I'm wondering if I should start moving down my richities to the underwater place. Just so that we can count it. I think we need, for a beacon, for a fully blow beacon, we need two stacks of blocks. So that's 18 stacks. Plus 36. So let's say 24-ish stacks of iron ore in order to get there. But anyway, check this out, dudes. Oh, and I love that heartbeat there. So this we did last time. I continued building here. I continued terra shaping. And I built a brand new section here. Oh, look at that, dudes! I think that looks so good. So I did a staircase here, which I didn't finish designing last night. And you kind of walk down here, and you get to this sort of balcony. This was like a natural balcony. I knocked out the wall here, uh, and then that that made it to a natural sort of balcony over the big ravine here, which I really, really like. Uh, using some stone bricks, which has a fantastic texture in the new uh, in the new texture pack, and uh, some andersite. And yeah, you can see for yourself. Then over here, this looked like chaos, and it still looks like chaos a little bit, but it was absolutely weird here. Is this a spawner? No, that's just the new underside. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, we got this big ravine, and it's like half broken everywhere. I don't really know why. I did learn that uh, I was wrong about the mining speed. It is potential or substantially slower in the ocean, even with the conduit. I wonder if we get... We would manage to get Aqua Affinity. I wonder if that changes, but I'm not sure. But I really like how this is sort of, you know, coming together as as a big ravine. And I would like to continue to do exactly that. Uh, this ravine, it would be so much nicer if it would be broader. So that may be something that we work on over time. But I'm very, very, very happy about this. And we should probably put down like a, a proper storage room inside this base somewhere. You know what? This wall here, 
is actually pretty interesting where there is dirt like I dug out the outer dirt layer or outer granite layer and there was dirt behind it that makes me want to use that as a part of this and like water fill it all so maybe make a path from over here to there oops lag <laughs> to over here it is very very weird to like be swimming in this game still I think but yeah uh, make a balcony over here that would give us a great vision from uh, from this place as well and maybe put the storage room uh, over here here's a representation of the difference in breaking blocks right underwater speed over water speed <laughs> there's a huge difference I guess that respiration or aqua affinity I can't remember which one it is I think it's aqua affinity I guess that would fix that this is gonna be great, dudes. This is gonna be great. I spent some time to dig this place out. There was so much granite in this water. I mean, not a single diorite vein, so I shouldn't really complain. But check this out. I, what do you guys see when you see this? And we're thinking storage room here. What do you guys see? I see treasure room. Treasure room, right? This is where they would have stored the minerals and the treasures aka our underwater storage room. I think it's gonna be super cool um, The very first thing the very first thing we need to do is to fill this all with water and I'm gonna I want to try a trick here that I um, <clears throat> Learned from cub fan. Let's create an infinite water source. I think what we do because it's actually not very easy to like fill an area. But I think what we do is we place water at the top block. Like that. And then we use kelp on the bottom of that block. So down here. And then we grow this. And as we as we grow this, the, the pouring water turns into source blocks. Right? Yes. I think that's how we do it. And I create this water source here so that I can go back and grab more water. Because if I start picking out water... It's not going to be source blocks and yeah, it's kind of chaotic to uh, To fill this with water it takes a lot of time, but I think uh, This is probably the quickest method to do it and I guess after a while here We actually don't need to place down the water because we can just like Make the water flow. So what the what the kelp does by the way in case you didn't understand that I didn't explain stupid me uh, the kelp will turn non-source blocks into source blocks basically now we have this situation here and i guess we just have to fill it so yeah if there's like like here this is not even a full water block right now then that's a problem but you can see there that's spread into here so every every little corner we need to do we need to place down the water but in the general part of this the general part of this we should be able to just spread this water slowly but surely by doing this i think Part two complete. The place has been filled with water. <laughs> it took took me quite a bit, to, to, quite a while, quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a while. The second thing that I'm working on now uh, that I always like to do is I want to I want to make the terra terraforming of the walls and stuff. And personally, I just can't stand having granite or even like even the new andesite is pretty bad. I try and use it a little bit, but when there's a lot of it in one place, it's just poof, <laughs> very, very ugly. So I've been trying to go over. Mostly of the stuff has been covered. Uh, and then as I do that also, I try and add like uh, other features. I did bring, yes, uh, other features such as now that we can use stairs and just try and make it look a little bit rugged. Because this is essentially going to be a treasure, treasure cave. So rather than, here's a good example, rather than just filling it with smooth stone... We got a little bit of cobble, we got a little bit of andersite, and crafting bench, please. I don't know how many I make every episode, but it's more than two. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, let's get some of these guys going here. Boop. And sure. Yes. Okay. And all of that, like, as, as, as I do that, it just adds more immersiveness. Right now, it looks really bad adding cobblestone and stuff because it's only in this area. But that will change. Yeah, I'm lagging a little bit again today. It sucks. It was good this morning, but the longer the time goes, I guess I have to be like become like a super morning early bird <laughs> to play on Hermitcraft. Uh, do I go? No, I think we just go a classic one here, like that. I think makes more sense. 
Yes, that looks pretty good. We walk in here. We'll probably change out some of this for uh, spruce. I don't know if I want to have spruce all the way in, though, in this room. I did something really cool down here, I thought, where... Oh, look at this place. It's so good. Where I put down some spruce on the sides, illustrate, illustrating, like, either that they've stored wood there or that the wood has been so broken up by the water. You can see here, like, this was maybe essentially, from the beginning, this was a staircase or, like, a walkway. And it's broken. I really like that in the exposed areas there. Uh, so I'm not sure what what uh, what floor we're going to do inside here. But I think that's good. We may even want like another acacia um, holder upper. <laughs> holder upper. Over here. Holder upper. Come on, Escal. What the crap are you talking about? Well, I'll show you, okay? I'll show you. Go like that. And then over here. And then cover that up. Yes, I don't like when the acacia is like bordering like it was there, so that's good. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. So now we have like an entrance to this room, and I don't want it to be symmetrical because that would be weird. And let's say that we go with a with a mix that we've gone with before. We would go with some gravel and some cobblestone, and definitely gonna grab some more um, coral blocks from Cub Fan's shop when I can afford them, and use them in here as well, like we did in the glacier. Not the colored ones though. Or maybe we do add some corals. I don't know. It's a lot of options, which is really good, but also <laughs> also very scary. Over here, I'm thinking we'll go with a brick. Sort of broken down brick opening, I think would be cool. And maybe also get some wood tones in here. So, just gonna go ahead and like freestyle this completely. Like do a little bit like that, and then maybe a pillar here. With a stair underneath, made out of cobblestone. And I like to have uh, polished andersite with these as well. Still with the new textures, I think still looks really good. You know what's also great when you do these sort of things? Cobblestone walls. <laughs> they are so good. <laughs> they are so good for so many things. They have a unique shape. They just add a lot to stuff. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. And then maybe over here we want to go... Cobblestone. Uh, and I think I also did... Yeah, I did an overhang there. So maybe from the beginning, this was like a big window or something. Man-made. Um, so I like to do that. Makes it look more like ruins as well. Okay, a little bit too bricky so far. A little bit too bricky. I don't like the fact that... I like the fact that you have to like look in and see ooh, what's over there. This makes me realize that I want to put the chests down where we can see them from over here. But one big factor right now that really messes with us is the fact that everything is gray. So the wall is gray and the floor is gray. The floor is probably going to stay gray, but let's add some texture to it just to see what happens. So add some gravel and add some cobblestone. Maybe even add some iron bars hanging from these things or sticking up, I think could be cool. Representing that it originally was like an iron bar thing here. Ooh, you know what? Maybe we even do... Maybe we even do that. Maybe that's too crazy. Maybe we do that. We'll see. So I, I changed out the floor and I changed out some of the background. You can see immediately that now we see that there's a depth difference there. Obviously, if we would use sand as the floor in that room, it would look so much better. But I'm going to try and stay away from sand just because it's going to look too clean, I think. So uh, now that we have the gray, let's also add some random wood that may potentially one day have been the floor here. And because this is going to be a storage room... Uh, I think the chests should be <laughs> somewhat disordered. <laughs> and that may that may be very annoying uh, at the end of this. Like, that may not look great. I have to cut down some more spruce trees, by the way. I don't like to use acacia for chests and such. But yeah, that may look very bad. Uh, or maybe very annoying for me to, like, deal with. But I'm fine with that. You can see that something is going on there. See how that lifts the whole place immediately? I mean, let's be honest, with sand in there, it would be just perfect, but uh, I got an idea though, because there's broken planks that have been here, maybe we change this place out and put some planks down. Boop, 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 boop. Last thing and then I'll do more off camera, alright? Last thing, let's add some green, let's add some color. I mean, we still don't have escalium, that's gonna be a thing that's gonna be part of this for sure. But let's add a little bit of this. You can bone meal these, by the way, as well, which is cool. You hear that? Phantoms. It's so scary, dudes. I've been playing with my uh, headset off because it's so warm. 
And I didn't realize I was alone on the server, but there are those birds outside. I don't know if they dive in the water. It's crazy. But anyway, check out the epic uh, treasure room, ladies and gentlemen, aka our storage room. I think it turned out really nice. It's not... I, I would like to do some more stuff here. We're gonna talk about that in a second. I did make a bed. Ah, too bad that you can't place it, like, properly underwater. You can still place it, though. It doesn't break. So that's good to know. Uh, but yeah, basically, I've decided to do the center console here, break up the room a little bit. And I have organized most of my stuff in here. And it's kind of interesting to see how to organize things, like, different. Not side by side, not just stacking everything, but putting it like this. I think it's pretty cool. Over here is an anvil. I still don't know how to make this pretty. We probably need to, like, do a piston solution in order to have an anvil. Uh, I put this up because I found an efficiency 3 book in my inventory and I wanted to uh, upgrade my silky way. <laughs> but yeah, I think this turned out really good. I want to go to... Um, let's go to the Richard's uh, chest, this one here. I want to go to the uh, Hermit Lands and to Cub Fan's shop. And I want to try... Maybe try to buy some of the coral flowers. I didn't buy any. I just bu bought the coral blocks. Which I suppose if I place these down, they're just gonna, they're gonna stick red. Oh, oh, but that may work out as well. And then if we break them without silk touch, they're gonna lose their color. Um, could it work out to have like coral colors down here? I guess so. I guess we could actually use coral colors. We could make like veins of corals coming down the, I know that sounds disgusting by the way, but we could make them coming down the, the wall there. I kind of, I wasn't planning to do that, but I kind of want to try with this red. It's a really good red as well. So like, do something like that just in the corner. Would that look weird or would that be totally fine? I think that's pretty cool actually. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there and see what you dudes say. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I want to I wanna check out the coral flowers and I want to buy them from Cubfan as well if he still has stock. But we have to deal with these stupid phantoms just take a look at this quickly though whilst they're quiet we're getting there ladies and gentlemen i'm so happy with this base design it's incredible it's a big wow i feel i i'm very happy with it anyway okay are these guys in the they are in the water oh my goodness okay okay get out that's why they are not dying during nighttime then or during daytime because they're supposed to be look at them <laughs> Hey, dude! I kind of want to... I think they dropped some rare stuff. Look at their eyes! Uh-oh. Now I'm gonna die. No! Yeah, I don't want to die. Okay. Okay. We may be good. Whew. Yeah, they have Iscalium eyes. That's very, very interesting. Are they dying? Please die. <laughs> I th well, I mean, yeah, the ones underwater are still... They do so much damage, though. Holy crap. All right, anyway, I want to head into uh, head into town to uh, see if we can buy some corn flowers. I've been completely consumed with this project of the treasure room today. I think I've, I've been playing here for a good six hours today and have a lot had, had a lot of fun digging out and mining and doing all the things. How are these flowers alive outside? What? Can you plant them down? I'm so confused with how coral works. But okay, Cubfan's shop. Oh, he's got some squid in here now. <laughs> Cubfan's shop. Uh, I wanted to see if he sold sea pickles as well. I don't think he does. Oh, these are different. One diamond for three. Okay. Um, Let's buy one of these. I'm probably going to end up spending all my diamonds here. One fire coral, and like I'm buying these because I'm assuming that they look super cool. Here's also a uh, coral. Is this is this a competing shop right here, or is this Cub fans like cooking cooking the coral up? It says C C Cub fans corals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Up only. Can you farm these? No, no, you can't farm these, right? I'm confused. I'm very confused. He's sold out on a lot of stuff. Uh, I guess we'll try to buy one of these as well. Slime balls for sale. One diamond per stack. Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna pay that, but I would love to make a slime farm. Mumbo Sticky Hop. Okay, that's Mumbo's farm, I guess. like that building very much. Wells Knights Bushy's Boutique. Okay. 
All right. All right. Good. I wanted to try this underwater. I'm going to buy one stack of jungle. And I think that's all I all I need for now. All right. So back home with the salmons. Swimming with the, the fishes. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. That was just... I just had to. Uh, okay. So let's see if we can learn a little bit about these. The, the interesting thing is you can place them on this. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that gives so much more utility, specifically the gray ones. Can I not place it? I can't place it upside down. Okay. Then break it with silk touch. That works. I would think that these are shearable, but I'm guessing... Yeah, it's silk touch. And then if I break it with a normal pickaxe, I get nothing. Okay. How do I get the gray ones then? <laughs> I'm confused. Maybe... Okay. So maybe silk touch pickaxe will give me back the color and... Ah, maybe if I shear them, let's try that. I need to learn, dudes, okay? I understand. I understand. You dudes are all like, oh, I know exactly how this works, but I don't. So if I place that there and then shear it. Nope. Okay. Still touch it. Breaks it back. I'm so confused. <laughs> how do I get this in gray? I want it in gray, daddy. Oh, I guess it's... Okay, I guess they... They only have one shape in grey. I thought that you could put them upside down, but I guess you can't. Anyway, <clears throat> these are gonna help us tremendously here. To just add another... The first thing I'm noticing is that it has another, like, grey color. Which... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then in addition, they're like... They're just something that, like, sticks out. Let's try... Let's try this dead... Or, uh, this, uh... Tube coral. Right there. So now we add a blue splash to this as well. I don't know if that's gonna be nice. Hmm. It's not terrible. Like, for some reason, my brain goes like, well, it actually kind of works, this skull. What if I have a red tint here? Oh, these are boring. They're just the same. Uh, what about these? I do need to find myself a, a coral thing for sure. Add that there. Can I put these on the side? Nope. And maybe then add this on the side here. That that looks like a meat-eating plant right there. <laughs> looks very scary. I like that. I like it. Oh, why? 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 It makes no sense. Why fix everything else but not fix like leaves <laughs> and everything? Like, fix it or don't fix it. I want to try something at this wall. I've made some of these uh, dead ones. And what if we take all the space behind this coral and we plant down dead coral? I'm trying to make it look like as if the like the, the coral is slowly dying. Does that make sense? <laughs> it may, look, it may, may sound a little bit weird, but you know. <laughs> and Andersite is actually not terrible next to it either. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is so good. If we don't have the coral any other place, but just have it here, like the dead coral, that really sticks out now. That really works. Look at that texture. That is so cool. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know where that was, what that was. <laughs> oh, that is good, though. Oof. This room, is, this room is getting good. I did plant out some more of these corals and stuff. Yeah, look at that. And it was at the bottom of the sea where he hid his stash. I call it the Davy Jones Locker. Yar. <laughs> we back to the pirates. <laughs> we back to the pirates. Anyway, dudes, uh, I know I had a lot of stuff to do today. I, I need to fix some armor and stuff. I'll have to do that next time. I do need to go mining again. Like <laughs> I need so much diamonds, man. I want to get diamond gear. Like I said, me and uh, me and Mambo are gonna go on a uh, end busting. I don't know when, but sometime this week. And I do want to be prepared for that a little bit. But like, guys, this is just so good. All of these coral things. I guess like we were trying to make it look dead under here, but in one way i i kind of like that we have a little bit of life still down here it's gonna be so cold though for these poor corals so i don't know if it makes sense one last uh, touch to this room is gonna be me adding ooh, bubbly coral i forgot about that me adding some bubbles 
anyway, dudes, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Davy Jones Locker, our storage room. It's unique. I love it. It's different. And did I say I love it? I think it's really cool. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, of course. Uh, and uh, hit the like button if you did enjoy it. Consider subscribing if you're new. And I will see you dudes in the next episode. I don't like these red cores here. I'm going to take them away.